Yo, what is going on everyone? It is your boy Drew What It Do here. And in today's video, we have a ton going on. So let's get into it. <laughs> First, I'm gonna take you guys to a vintage store in the heart of the Rhino district of Denver, Colorado called Darklands Vintage. And if you guys have actually listened to or watched the 5K Q&A video, I'm in the same area. I'll show you guys the building that I actually worked at. You know when I made my call to ALD during my internship of 2019 and then later on we plan to go to Boulder do a little bit of hiking do a little bit of chilling um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video man Lauren can you please make your illustrious oh my gosh you're so it's so bright out right now that I don't even know if you guys can see here um, you, nice shirt, nice shirt thank you yeah. I just nice shirt <laughs> So for those of you who've watched that 5K Q&A video, like I said, this building right here was the exact video I worked in in 2019 when I decided to see if I could work at ALD <laughs> and try my luck at a, a call with Will Grogan. I think we can cross the street. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little area. Rhino, it's, it's like very developing. Up and coming. Up and coming essentially, right? A lot of people are trying to move around here and and live and work and do those kind of things so so right now we're in the source which is kind of like a hotel slash shopping slash eating building right right behind the camera is where we're gonna be heading to, which is Darklands Vintage. I showed you guys a little bit of B-roll of what it looks like to be in here. Like I said, it's kind of like an up and coming kind of part of Denver, Rhino. Uh, it's been here for a while actually, but it has a lot of different elements to it as well. I'm gonna show you guys the shop, obviously. I got the owner who I'm gonna interview like I've been doing recently. Let's get into it. So right behind me is Darklands Vintage, one of the kind of more interesting vintage stores in the city of Denver. I think it's a super underrated one, maybe one of the most underrated ones. Because of the location, I think it's a very kind of unique type of location and I'm really excited to show you guys what they have. Let's do it. I've been saying let's do it this entire video. Let's for real do it. <laughs> Let me give you guys a rundown of the store. It looks like at the front, they have a section of some vintage tees. Um, and then, so you have more tees up here, different stylings. Um, I'll, I'll kind of go through, cause I'm gonna definitely do some shopping. And then you have different selections of, of pants, which if you know your boy, he absolutely loves a good pair of pants, a good pair of denim. Um, and I, I think, yeah, there's some Dickies, right? Or maybe these are Wrangler, uh, I can't tell. I think these, I think these are workwear pants. Um, and then they have the coffee set up over there. More stuff, more crew necks and things. They have a hat section, which is uh, super, super dope. Obviously you gotta have, you gotta have some good selections of hats and whatnot. And then you have outerwear, whether it be jackets, leather jackets, denim jackets, uh, knits. These look like some style of military jackets or, or, or work or chore jackets, varsity jackets, hoodies. So you, you pretty much have the entire gamut when it comes to what you would expect to see in a vintage store, in a, in a store that has, a, has curated items. How do you 
select? What do you what do you want in the shop? What you don't want? Like, how do you populate the different items within, within the for, store? For me, quality is the most important thing. I think like Made in USA like is like one of the strongest points at all. Anytime I see something yeah. Made in USA. You know, that was like, it started getting outsourced in 97, 98. You're seeing a lot more like outsourced making in like other countries. But to me, like stuff being made in the USA was always like better quality. It gave jobs to like more Americans. Right. It was like it, it had totally. our economy like kind of at its best point. Totally. Obviously, are you, how would you describe your personal style? And do you feel like you're kind of injecting a bit of what you have an eye for into the store as well? I think so. I think it's always easier to pick what you know. Yeah. Um, for me, my personal style, I've, it's kind of like white t-shirt, black it. jeans, and boots, you know, that's uh, it. on any given day, this is what I'm wearing, so. But to me, yeah, personal style is kind of like punk rock and workwear focused. Yeah. And, I mean, growing up with a dad who worked full time and like, you know, Carhartt, and like those, those pieces that you can get and you can wear them for 60, 70 years and it's that, never yeah. changed, you know? Like a, a Carhartt Detroit jacket is no different than it was when it was first, you know, launched. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, just things that like never really go out of style but are always classic, you know? So right here is one of Right here is one of like my favorite bakeries that I used to come to when I used to have my internship and worked here at Storyvine. I'm gonna show you guys just two seconds, just two seconds of this fantastic bakery. These guys do fantastic work. I mean, they're always working, always creating good treats and, and different things like that. So, I really appreciate it. Seriously. That was enjoyable. Didn't pick up anything today. Um, but I might come back in the future and do a little bit more shopping there. Next time we see you guys, we'll be in Boulder, Colorado, so we'll see you there. Get this camera right. Your boy's just chilling on the curves today, man. What's up, y'all? Today is a brand new day. Obviously, we're in Boulder County, Colorado right now. I'm gonna show you guys a pop-up shop here. I don't think we're gonna go hiking like I said we were in the last clip, but we're gonna make something happen here. I'm gonna show you guys a really just kind of interesting pop-up. I love doing these showcasings of Colorado, different things going on in the city, and I feel like there aren't a lot of content creators doing this in Colorado, showcasing it from a kind of fashion or, I guess, lifestyle perspective. All right, let's get going, though. So like I said, today I'm going to be showing you guys this really fun pop-up shop done by uh, a, someone who I know. I actually just had her on the podcast. Her name is Berkeley Baring Gamble and she owns and operates. She's the founder and creative director of Past Life The Collective and they kind of deal with dead stock fabric, bringing things back to life. Very, very sustainable kind of brand. I'm getting a weird glare on my camera, but oh well. But super sustainable brand. So I'm excited to show you guys that. The pop-up shop is an absolute vibe. I kid you not. And I'm just excited to be back on Pearl Street. I should be on Pearl Street. I think it's the next street over. So let's get to showing you guys. All right, here it is. Right behind me is Past Life, the collective. I'm gonna grab my mask, which is in my little front pouch right here. We're gonna head in, all right? Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? It's good to meet you. Oh, I think I've met you before, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm Drew, I mean. Good to see you. Yeah, I um. How's your day going? Good. Good. Yeah, just Good. let me know how I can help or anything. So this is Past Life, the Collective, and like I said, I had Berkeley on my podcast yesterday. No, a few days ago. A few days ago, and she was a fantastic guest. And so I actually found out about her through this pop up. I was doing the Canoe Club video, and decided it'd be cool to maybe showcase or uh, walk into another store. And, and Past Life was 
obviously here i was immediately impressed by the vibe i'll make sure to show you guys some b-roll shots and things like that and megan's here right now megan say what's up to the to the vlog <laughs> so so there's that and I, i've actually spoken to megan before just um coming in before and just chatting it up this, this the the space is absolutely beautiful you have art on the wall which like you can see behind me i don't know if this is necessarily the, one of the art pieces but it's over here and i know ariana does some of these so they have art here obviously they have the garments that they sell um and it, just an incredible space and a vibe that they've created So the shop is mostly women's wear right now. I know Berkeley wants to kind of divulge into doing some men's wear, but like I said, what makes the shop and what makes Past Life the Collective and the brand so sustainable is this idea of taking dead stock fabric, right? I know in like the fashion, like the sneaker world, for example, if you're in the sneakers, when something is dead stock, it means that it's brand new. But in the fabric kind of world, it means that you're repurposing fabric, excess fabric, essentially, and you're repurposing it for new garments. So, like, is everything is everything in here dead stock, right? Yeah. So everything in here is made from dead stock fabric. That's why I wanted I wanted to double check myself before I yeah. before I just spew a lie. But yeah, everything in here is made out of dead stock, which is incredibly incredibly dope. Um, one of the biggest components to one of the biggest components to why this is such a sustainable brand. And if you guys check out their Instagram, I'll put a little bit of on the screen, but if you check out their Instagram, absolutely beautiful visuals. Just another brand that you just would not hear about, do not know about unless you kind of are in the know. And I want to bring more awareness to Berkeley and to the different shops in the Colorado area that are doing dope things like this. I mean, why not? Look who it is. <laughs> So Lauren was going to look at some of the dresses. Were these the ones you were talking about? Yeah. What are the dresses that were on sale that you guys had? Uh, the three mini ones. So those and then... These ones right here? Yeah. Yeah, and then all of these on the left side of Because you guys are preparing for an entirely new uh, collection, right? What is that? You guys are preparing for an entirely new collection, aren't you not? Uh, I think so. I have not been informed. Not been informed, okay. Yeah, I, think she, I think she mentioned it on a podcast. Probably. We get new stuff in yeah, yeah. I also want to give a huge shout out to my man Evan for hooking up the Severed Circles shorts. Absolutely beautiful. Love these things. Thank you, my boy. I appreciate you. An incredibly cool place. Um, like I said, make sure to check out the podcast that I did with Berkeley. A really fun podcast. I think I'm going to check out Canoe Club before I head out and see what the dudes are up to over there. And uh, then we can head on home if that sounds okay. <laughs> So I decided to pick up a little magazine from Canoe Club, uh, Popeye magazine. Thought it would be somewhat interesting to do so. But I'll look through this a lot more thoroughly on my own time. Let's get back home, get back to the, the studio, get back to where I normally am filming and uh, so I can talk to you guys a little bit. Check, check, check. All right, we are back. Hopefully you enjoyed exploring a little bit of Denver and Boulder with me. I had a good time. Hopefully you had a good time too. Kind of like I alluded to earlier, I enjoy being kind of from Colorado and showcasing my state. I feel like it's not showcased a lot on YouTube in the light that I'm trying to showcase it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let's get into what I picked up today. Nothing crazy. Obviously, I only picked up one thing. Let's, uh, let's open it up. Put this on my... Can y'all still hear me? Y'all can still hear me, right? <laughs> so I picked up this 
magazine from Canoe Club. Let's see if I can get it out without messing up the magazine. Boom. Got this Popeye magazine. And a lot of times, you know, with Canoe Club, I always check it out whenever I'm in Boulder. And so I decided to check this out, man. I wanted to check out my first Popeye and just kind of get the vibe for what is inside. Just look at some of the imagery and just kind of feel inspired and get some cool, dope references, right? And this just goes to show, honestly, that, you know, when you go to like a pretty reputable, nice menswear store like Canoe Club, you're not gonna be able to, or at least I can't afford to just go out and just buy out the entire store every time. They have some pretty high-end items there, some items that maybe I would, you know, be willing to splurge on maybe for like a Christmas or a birthday or a once kind of a year or a once a year kind of purchase. This magazine will do, man. I was in Boulder, wanted to support the dudes over at Canoe Club and I did so, man. But in other news, man, when is Kanye's album gonna come out? I know some people have like a early kind of access or have like pirated the songs already, but it's Donde Esta Donda right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, guys, I just wanted to conclude the video back where I normally am shooting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2021 so that means i'm spreading peace love and positivity to you wherever you are in the world have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you guys next time abianto and uh hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your week peace i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna head out hope you all enjoyed the video man